What's planned for today are two techniques. One is going to be uh, a method of exposing yourself to anxiety symptoms, bringing them on so that you can learn what they feel like and, and learning to bring them down again. Okay. How does that sound? Not great. It's a tall order. Yeah. Very effective though. And what's going to make it easier is that we're also going to learn a breathing technique that we really use to bring those symptoms down. Okay. Okay. And that that's sounds a, better. <laughs> it does for most people. Okay. So I'd like to try that first, this relaxation breathing technique. Okay. Okay. One of the reasons we like this a lot is that first of all, it's portable, easy, can be done anywhere. So you can use it for all kinds of things, not specifically limited to when you have panic symptoms. The other thing about it is that it really directly gets at one of the core symptoms of panic. And that is that when you're feeling panicky, you're probably breathing a little too rapidly. Okay. Have you ever thought about your breathing and what happens when you're anxious? I just can't catch my breath. And what do you think you're doing when you feel that way? Uh, I'm more than likely holding my breath because I'm panicking. Right. And then in response, chances are you're probably breathing a little too quickly. Oh, you're right. That's one yeah. of the characteristic things people do. Okay. That and breath holding, you're absolutely right. They're both big issues. The problem is, is that ironically enough, both those patterns are going to contribute to even more physical symptoms that you then think of as part of your core anxiety symptoms. Okay. Okay. So we need to identify those and begin to get more familiar and comfortable with them. How you think about something affects how you feel about it. How you feel about someone affects how you behave towards them, and so on. The issue for clients with anxiety is that we cannot control our feelings or our emotions directly. And because all of these things interact with one another, by changing how you think and how you behave, you can actually help people to feel differently, which is the ultimate goal of this kind of therapy.